This video is the second part of the single story house with mezzanine level tutorial example. In this video, you may follow a step by step tutorial of how to add more information on the 2D plans deriving from the 3D model, such as dimension, hatches, etc., as well as how to extract automatically section views from the same 3D model. Finally, you will go through plotting setup and PDF creation. The tutorial is structured in 7 basic steps as shown on this page. Let's go through the dimension entity by placing dimensions on one of the parametrical rows of the building. Select the entity dimension. Click on the first command of its toolbar named Linear. Select the first and last point of the side of the building. Holding the mouse button, move the cursor to the point where the created dimension is to be placed. Release the mouse button to definitize the dimension position on screen. Observe that the software automatically generates all the respective dimensions that correspond to the intersection points of the dimension axis with all the crossed entities, such as walls and windows. To place the generic dimensions, use the command to point. Click on the start point and then the end point of the dimension and again move the cursor where you wish. Repeat the procedure to place the other dimension. To modify the dimension inserted with a linear command, use the add point command. Select the dimension to be edited and then click successively on the snap points of the window. The dimension will be updated broken down to its parts. Note that the two-point dimension cannot be edited as it does not cross entities. It only calculates the distance between two given points. Select the hat entity to activate its respective toolbar. Let's assume that in our building there are three different types of flooring. Parquet at the living and kitchen area, ceramic tiles 25 by 25 at the bathroom and 40 by 40 at the terrace. Let's start then by drawing the parquet hatch. Right click on screen or press the F6 button to activate the hatch properties window. In the geometry tab, set the parameter hatch boundaries in yes as well as the quality hatch parameter. In the drawing tab, set the pattern parameter in lines with x and z factor 0.10 meters. Click on the define boundaries command and start describing the polygon outline of the hatch to be inserted. Complete the outline by clicking on close hatch polygon command. Set the angle of the hatch by using the angle command. Repeat to draw the living room floor. Moving on to the bathroom styling. Go back to the parameters window and select add pattern ceramic one with X and Z size factor 0.25 meters. Describe the boundaries as above and the selected hatch will be inserted. For the terraces flooring, change the pattern size factor in 0.40 both in X and Z dimensions. Use the add hatch to plane command. Select the plane that represents the terraces in your model and the selected hatch will be drawn automatically. Tekton software offers you the possibility to calculate room areas that have been marked with hatches. Select the area command of the hatch entity and then click on the desired drone hatch to select it. The text measuring the area of the hatch surface will appear automatically on screen. Move the cursor in the location where you wish to place the text and click again to complete the command. Repeat the procedure as many times as the hatches of your model. Each text that has been created belongs to the end of the text and therefore can be modified accordingly using the commands of the text toolbar. To edit the automatic text, use the edit command. After selecting the text to be edited, a dialog window will appear on screen. Modify the text in the box and click OK. Repeat as many times as the text you wish to edit. 
To change the position of the text, use the move command of the text entity. Select the text to be moved and drag it to its new position. With text and software, you can easily with just one click insert all the label blocks that are related to your openings, doors and windows. Select the opening label entity. Its respective toolbar will appear on the left of your screen. In this case, let's start by placing first the window labels. Activate the external opening command. Select successively one by one the windows of your model and the respective label will be placed automatically containing all the necessary information of this window. Activate the internal opening command and repeat the procedure selecting this time the inserted doors. The section entity is used for creating instantly section cues cutouts of the 3D model by defining vertical cutting planes. To create such a cutting plane that its projection in plan view is called section line, first click on the define section on plan command. Click on screen to set the starting point of the cutting plane and move the cursor to the desired direction. As soon as the cursor reaches the end point of the section, double click or click on the create section command. Select the side of the cutting plane where the observer is to be positioned. At the displayed window, set the name of the section line, for instance LA, and then click OK. Now, you have completed the graphical representation of the section plane in plan view. Repeat the procedure for the section line BB. To automatically generate the section view of the 3D model, click on the section of the built-in command and then click on the section line that we inserted previously. Notice that a new window will be displayed on screen with the relevant section view drawn. This generated file has the extension tone and can be further edited using all the linear entities of text and software. In the same way, you can generate the section view BB. Let us assume now that we want to set a layout view with the ground floor plan and the two sections of our building. When clicking on the plot tool, the software switches to the paper environment. Through the printer settings dialog window, set the device to be used for plotting and the paper characteristics. In that case, let's assume that we choose PDF Creator and A2 landscape paper. With the F6 button or with right click on screen, activate the paper properties window. Set the scale for each view to be inserted into the paper space and also the monochrome printing in yes. Use the Add Border tool to insert an A2 template sheet from your library of drawings. Then, use the Add Drawing tool to insert the plan and sections into the determined paper space. Make sure that you have the ground floor or floor zero of the model visible at the moment of insertion. Click Open and drag the cursor in the desired location. You have successfully inserted the ground floor plan cube. Repeat the last step in order to insert the generated sections AA and PB. Remember to use the redraw command to update the layout with all the changes. Click on the plot tool to send the layout to the predefined as the previous set printing or plotting device. 
As you have already selected a PDF Creator Plotter, proceed with OK. You have successfully printed in PDF your layout. Thank you for watching this video.